guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah Ray Vargas, in case you're new here. And today I have a Rue 21 like spring summery kind of haul. I recently picked up some denim shorts from them. Uh, it was like right before I went out of town, I was at the mall, I needed to pop into somewhere. Rue 21 always has like really inexpensive stuff. Um, they pretty much always have a sale going on. And if they don't, then you get to earn like Rue bucks or whatever, which is like basically you end up getting like half off when you use them. Um, but I had gotten some really nice shorts, and so I popped online. I'll link the shorts because I don't have them here. Um, I've already worn them and put them away and stuff. Um, but I will link the shorts that I got, and I had a size down in both of them. Um, I did show them in my recent vlog, though, of when I went to, like, New Orleans and um, Houston. It's basically my last vlog. So, um, anyway, let's hop in, though. I feel like Rue 21... They have straight sizes and they have plus sizes and a lot of them do carry the plus sizes in store which is nice. Their prices are really good. I feel like they're kind of quality wise pretty much on par with like what you should expect of Forever 21 or like Charlotte Russe. Obviously they're closed now but um, if you're familiar with them. However, their prices are definitely better. So this little jumpsuit, this little play suit, um, it's actually just one piece it has the little peekaboo thing here in the belly it has um, a tie here which you can actually make it a little bit tighter or looser whatever you need because like for me I definitely have some extra space here in the boob area um, but I think it still looks good and it has this kind of like tulip little cut coming in the front um, but it's not like completely split so when you're walking and stuff it's not gonna like show your show knees and everything except when it does show your chonies and everything, which is all the time, because it is pretty see-through. I'm sure you can see I have a black bong on right now. It's really comfortable though. I got this one on a 2X, it was like $24.50, um, but I ordered online and I know I had a coupon, so, you know, I would wear this like, when I'm vacationing or something like that. I probably wouldn't wear it just around my city and around my people, basically, <laughs> because it is a little see-through, unless I had really good, like, nude-colored undergarments, but other than that, this is good, like, lightweight, vacation-y, it's okay if you see my panties kind of, like, outfit we have going on here. It's really stretchy, though. It's very stretchy, though, like, it, in fact, it's, you can tell it's kind of hanging off me a bit in the front. I might have been able to do a 1X, but the fabric itself doesn't stretch that much, so I didn't want it to be too cumbersome, like, on the bottom half of me, which is the bigger half of me. Another thing I thought I'd mention before I get too far ahead, my kids wear kid sizes still, but they're on the top end of kid sizes. So sometimes I can order um, adult sizes and just get them like a small or an extra small or whatever. So I got my son some really cool Mario shirts and they're different than the ones at like Target and stuff. Um, he was pretty excited about it because they're old school, like Bowser and like, they're just old school Mario stuff. Um, and then I got my daughter this tank top. It's a little big. She's going to have to wear like a sports bra or something under it. But how cute. Like, I love getting my little character stuff, especially old school character stuff. I recently got a couple of shirts from Target. I've gotten some from Urban Outfitters, but Rue 21 also has a really good selection of like old school cartoons. You get like Rugrats and um, Hey Arnold and like uh, Ren and Stimpy and they just have a lot of that stuff so I got this for her but I thought I'd mention it. He already took all the Mario shirts and <laughs> wore them multiple times so I can't show you those but I do also have this cute little romper play suit. If you guys remember the City Chic haul that I did maybe a month ago I showed you guys a romper or play suit whatever you want to call it in that video and I ended up going back and ordering it in every print and it was kind of expensive it, it was really expensive it was normal price almost ninety dollars they do often have sales though and i will link what i'm talking about below um but i love 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 stuff like this i love rompers i love play suits i love jumpsuits i love them they're very comfortable and just tmi i don't know but like lately the last year or so I've noticed that I, I just can't eat a lot of different food. Uh, my body doesn't react very well to it, and I get so much stomach pain, like so much like intense cramping and stuff, um, unless I'm basically just eating at home. If I eat at home, I'm fine usually, unless I have cauliflower or broccoli or Brussels sprouts or whatever, any cruciferous vegetables, is that what they're called? <laughs> anyway, the reason I'm digging play suits and rompers and jumpsuits so much is because nothing is really pressing on my stomach and sometimes we go out and we have a meal and then we go to the movies and I want to die at the movies. I'm like, I don't know, I can't eat popcorn. I throw up every time I eat popcorn. Like, 
I don't know what's wrong with me, but I know that not having jeans on is definitely a great solution. So I picked up this play suit, and I mentioned the City Chic one because the fit really reminds me of that one, except the entire thing is stretchy. So I once again got this in a 2X. It's really pretty in the back. It's a pretty decent length, um, but since it's so flowy, like, be careful, because you can definitely get some butt cheek hanging out <laughs> in the back. Um, but this one was listed at $21.99, like regular price, which significantly cheaper than the City Chic one, obviously. The top of it is not my absolute favorite, but at least it is adjustable. I just don't like how like close to my neck the straps are. You see, it's kind of awkward. Like this is where like a natural strap would fall. And then this is kind of how they designed this one. So it's a little weird. It does have the thing right here to keep it, um, you know, up. But beyond that, it's really loose, very stretchy, very flowy, very comfortable. All right, next up I have this little play suit jumper thing and uh, you see me adjusting the crotch area here because this one I feel like tends to ride up a little bit more and just the material wants to make it kind of suck into the vortex of my crotch, which isn't my favorite, but I'll deal with it. I don't know that I love this one. It's a 2X and it definitely is a lot tighter. Uh, it's it's fitted, I should say. It's more fitted on my stomach, like the elastic is stronger on this particular one than the first two. But overall, it's pretty cute. It has this belt that you can make tighter, looser, whatever you need. Um, again, I got this one in a 2X and this one was $24.99. It's a little bit longer than the last one. Still kind of see-through, as you can probably tell. Um, nah, not my favorite. I mean, these just feel like giant shorts and it, not my favorite. <laughs> Just not coming to a posh mark near you, I'm sure. Also, I just did a massive closet purge. So if you follow my posh mark, my mom literally has like hundreds of new items that I just ripped out of my closets and gave to her like, enjoy. So she runs my posh mark. It's the same name as my Instagram handle. It's Sarah Ray with three H's. But anyway, let's jump into swimsuits. This is not my favorite. Not my favorite. So I got the top in a one um, because I have had plenty of experience with, um, oh, my neighbors are selling their house and they're showing it. They look fun. Okay, don't look at me. Don't look at me. Okay, my beginning neighbors. Anyway, um, so uh, <laughs> I got the top in a one because I do have some experience with the Rude 21 stuff and it tends to run big for me on top. Um, not with this particular top though. So I got this in a 1X and it was $22.99 I believe. And then I got the bottoms in a 2X because I pretty much always get my bottoms a size bigger if the option is available. Um, and you do buy these separately. So the bottoms were like 21 bucks. The top was like $23. Kind of expensive for the quality. As you can see, um, you can see through this completely. It's not flattering on me. I don't think, right? I mean, if you saw me walk around like this at the pool, you'd be like, would you be like, oh, where'd you get that cute swimsuit? Or would you like look at your friend like, look at this girl. <laughs> look, hey, 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 <clears throat> hey, look over there. Like wh who would you be if you saw me wearing this? You know what I mean? Um, these come off, thank God, because I think it looks a thousand times better <laughs> without it. Just because it, uh, I don't know. But um, it's super duper see-through. You can see very clearly. And part of it I'm sure is because it's yellow. And then this has that one hook there you go. So not the most flattering, probably not something I would recommend necessarily. Um, or perhaps if you just size up one more size on this one, it would look a little bit better. Oh, and I grabbed the shorts so I can show you guys. Okay, this swimsuit, this one, um, I like it. It's that kind of cute, like metallic-y material that has been very in lately. And I like that the frills are in the front, but you still have the space for cleavage. If you have any, which <laughs> not today, I guess, but um, if you have any cleavage, then they have an area for people to view that. I love this on the side though. Let me show you the other side because that side has the tags. So it opens all the way up. It's so cool. Like you can actually adjust it, make it tighter, looser, what have you. It's going to be open no matter what, but that's really cool little feature. I feel very cute from the side, okay? You can't see the separation of my stomach to my crotch here, so if that's a problem for any of us, just know that. However, it's not see-through, not really, right? No, you can't see the color, you can see the lines, but it's not see-through like the other one was. It's definitely a thicker material. Again, I got this one in a 2X and this one is $29.99. It's cute. It's 
not, oh, oh, I can put these up. I was gonna say, it's kind of uncomfortable having them there, to be honest. Wasn't, that's, oh, this looks stupid though. Does this look stupid? This feels like it looks stupid. <laughs> it looks better off the shoulder, but this is like one of those swimsuits that you're not really necessarily probably gonna swim. You're just gonna be cute next to other people who may or may not be swimming. Okay, kind of looks like I have boobies. Hello, I like this, this is cute. Look, mom, I grew some. Anyway, this top I got in a one. Oh no, I didn't, I got in a two. You know what, I must have confused Rue 21 with Charlotte Russe because this fits great. So maybe it was the Charlotte Russe tops that used to run big on me. Uh, it must have been. This was $20.99 and then the bottoms I got into two again and they were about the same price. This is uh, like embroidered, you can see. It is like actually embroidered, which is cool. Um, it's, it's definitely got, you know, quite the gaping hole up here. And then uh, their swimsuit tops, like if you're looking for a traditional kind of plus size swimsuit top, Rue 21 is probably not your best bet because they don't tend to have the thick bands which is something I love to see, but sometimes I feel like I can get away with just the one band. I mean, I have like fat dripping above and below, <laughs> but it's whatever. It doesn't look terrible. It's a pretty high waist. And then this one, once again, has those cutouts. This one, uh, I still don't love the cutout position or maybe it's just too tight. It feels fine around my waist and everything. Like I feel sucked in and secure in this one, um, but I don't love the way my fat kind of bulging you know some of this is my panties which I'm trying to tuck them so you guys can get a real view here but this one's not bad though this one I wouldn't like definitely get rid of or anything it's cute so I feel a little exposed in it though not gonna lie okay this one I'm kind of feeling let me look at myself right on the mirror kind of not looks a little ill-fitting like on me um, it's got more of a traditional kind of bikini top to it has this little thing which you can tie it doesn't come off, but I guess it's up to you how you want to do it. You can make it into a bow or whatever. It doesn't really change the way that it fits at all. Um, the straps are adjustable, which is nice. Again, it has just kind of that single clip in the back, um, and it's a pretty thin band. The top I got in a 1X, and it was like $20.99. The bottoms I got in a 2X, and it was $18.99. Um, I feel like I I've had 3Xs from Lou 21. In fact, I still have some. And they are a little big on the actual waistline. They fit the rest of me, I guess, less, they're less fitted, but they end up being big on the waist. So I like to wear two X's, but I just feel like I'm not feeling my best in these ones. I'm not sure, it could just be like an off day. I have a lot going on today, but um, I think it looks pretty cute, right? Like the little stripes and a little bit of a cut out on the side and not see-through. I still have the black underwear on and you cannot see them. This one's pretty cute. I think it's gonna grow on me. I think I'm just not like in my best place right now or something. I'm feeling a little bloated. I can't figure out when my last period was. It's been, it's, it's been a day. Um, so these shorts, I ended up getting these in a size 18. I didn't try them on at the store. And the other ones I had gotten in a size 16 because they looked so big. These ones looked a little big, but I was trying to err on the side of caution. So I ended up going for the bigger size. And I think in these ones as well, I should have done the 16 because um, they fit my legs pretty well, but they are uh, quite loose for me on my waist. Um, you know, in front and back here, you can tell it's kind of just, I feel like I'm sitting in them. Um, but the legs are okay, but I can tell that if I had gone down a size, the legs would have been fine still because they are a little loose as well. But the quality is not bad, guys, for $26.99. Um, and I think they were buy one, get one half or 30% off or something that day. I think they were buy one, get one half. Like, basically for less than 20 bucks, <laughs> Rue 21's got some nice shorts. I will say, if you can go in store, <laughs> go in store because the sizing varies. Like I said, I should have got these ones in a size 16. And um, I'll show you the other ones. The other ones I actually wore. These, I guess, I could still exchange. I never exchange stuff. It's such a pain. Unless I spent, like, a ton of money on it. Like it's from Express or something. <laughs> so these ones I ended up getting in a size 16. These are the YNI jeans. And these have been washed and dried and all that. Um, I love these ones because they have the triple button. Love love a high-waisted triple button seriously that's why i fell in love with towards jeggings these ones again i wore these for a couple of days 
and um, you know before washing them they got really big but even to start with these ones are also a little big on the waist but they fit pretty well they're comfortable they don't ride up I think they look good like when I have a crop or even a long shirt or a hoodie or whatever um, they're really comfortable I'll do my best to link these two oh guys this one is almost perfect it it does like a weird thing with my boobs where it really makes it look like there's a shadow in there it's really not it's not that deep it's not that deep um, but this top I got in a 2x and it was again like 20 99 the bottoms are like 18 99 bottoms I got in a 2x and this is like almost perfect so it is a halter you can tie it however you want around the neck it is a little bit of a thicker band which is nice and it's just one piece so it goes all the way around i love the design of it the fact that you can see through this to the skin here and then the bottom is the same except it has a lining on it so you probably can't tell maybe not you can see it um it has a lining on it but it also has this mesh on it the only problem for me is it's kind of short like if it was just an inch higher but also an inch longer you know what i mean like if i pull it up then the bottom is too high and it lets out too much of my upper thigh which i don't like and then if i leave it here it kind of gives me a boxier shape because it's not hitting the smallest part of my waist which is usually what i aim for because that gives me the best kind of silhouette so almost perfect not quite love the top though i might just keep the top I mean, I'm, I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I might actually wear the top is what I should say. It's cute. Look at Pro 21. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Uh, okay, I thought we were going to end on like a winner, 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 but maybe not. Um, this one I got in a 2X. It was $29.99 again. Again, get a sale, get a coupon. I don't pay full price for stuff. Not normally. Um, this one has a nice big opening in the front. In case I didn't mention it, none of these swimsuits have any kind of underwire. If you're looking for like real support, you need a support system, Route 21 is not the place for you. In fact, I'm not sure that I saw any that have underwire, but I could be wrong. Um, the downside of this one, it's cute. It has a cute little design on the side. I like the little crisscross here. Um, it's not, it has... The pads are all folded up, but it has a pad on both. And uh, the problem for me personally is that it's just too low. Like, this is not a good look for my back. If it was a little higher, I think we'd be okay. Um, none of them are too cheeky though. You guys know I've had a bazillion airy swimsuits, or if you follow me on Instagram, you've seen them because I worked with them um, pretty much every month this year. It's done now, so I have a bunch of airy swimsuits that I could show you guys um probably like a solid 20 if you're interested in that video like kind of a recap um because they tend to release the same style but in different prints so I can show you like the strappy one um and then you know the print I have might not be available but they'll have it in a different print or the two-piece or the this or that whatever um if you're really interested in seeing something like that I'd be happy to do it the only reason I'm hesitant is because, like I said, you won't be able to get a lot of the exact ones that I have, but you'll be able to get the same style, so like the sizing references and everything should carry over. <laughs> Just the actual prints will be different, but if you want to see that, let me know in the comments or give me a thumbs up or whatever, um, however you want to do it. But I gotta hop on a plane, so <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm gonna try to edit it while I'm at the airport and get it up tonight. So hopefully you guys will see this today. <laughs> If not, you'll see it tomorrow, but you won't know the difference. Oh, and don't forget that you guys can enter to uh, win the, how should I say? You can enter to be the next person that gets a makeover on my channel. Um, I will put the Survey Monkey thing down below. I also took the restrictions that it had on it. It had like restrictions where you like had to fill out every single part, which you don't like have to fill out. It. Anyway, it was giving people trouble. I took all that off, so um, everybody should be good to go now it should be easy it is u.s only though so if you are from canada or anywhere else it's not the u.s um, then it's not gonna work for you but anyway now that's for real i gotta go all right bye guys